Hello then. Next thing I'm going to do is do the rump and loin. This is the back of the, the hindquarter. To the front here we normally have the top bit which contains your leg and your roasting joints. And to this end you have the rib which we've already cut and the forequarter. Okay. We age our beef two to three weeks on the bone. We air age it as you can see from a beautiful colour. Okay. On this piece here we have the fillet which is actually an internal piece of meat which is the most favourite and the most common to be eaten. And then if I turn it round this piece here we have is the rump steak which is the most favourite piece for people to eat as a common steak to eat. I will then cut the middle piece out which we use for T-bones and I will cut the wing end off which we use for sirloins. Depending whether you cut rib or uh, the T-bones off you would normally then remove the whole fillet and then remove the whole sirloin which would cut as steaks or do as joints. So the next thing I'll do is we'll break this down into three pieces for you. First thing I'll do is remove the rump and try and find the tip of the end of the bone and then you slice down. With all cutting, the saw is only used to saw bone and not meat. the rump and loin broken into three primal cuts. Yep. Right, then we have the T-bone. Okay, yet again a very popular steak. All I should do is just trim this. Yeah again, not too much fat removed. As you see it's, uh, it gives it good flavour and it helps it to cook. It saves you having to buy all these olive oils and things, it will just cook naturally itself, it's its own beautiful fat. But yet again, ask your butcher, you can cut and trim as much as you prefer. And that is really all you need to do. To slice, you just cut down through, depending how big a steak you want. 12, 14 or 16 ounces. Yet again, just ask your butcher. But remember, if you have a thick steak, it will take that little bit longer to cook through the middle. And that is the T-bone. Thank you.